Welcome back to my channel guys. We are having another beautiful day in the hot and boiling Texas. This video I'm going to talk about our ledge lounger chases. These are called the autograph collection. I'm going to talk about the things that we like about the chases and that we don't like. Let's get to it. So full disclaimer ledge lounger has not paid me to make this video. These are just my views. When I searched online for chases, I could not find any video talking about these in particular. So I just wanted to make a video, pass my thoughts along for people who are on the same boat looking to purchase this specific chase. So with that said though, Ledge Lounger, if you're watching, I wouldn't mind if you cut me a check or send me a promotional item or something. So let's get started with a quick overview of our setup. Man, look at these chases, man, how beautiful they are. But we've got three of them positioned perfectly in between the bubblers. And it's at an angle because we have a little bit of view going on there versus here. It's a little bit of houses here. Sometimes we see deers, coyotes, and animal life over there. So you can lay by the pool and enjoy the animal. So first thing first, let's talk about the price. How much does each one of those cost? It's close to 1500 bucks on the Ledge Lounger website, but our pool builder sold it to us at a 30% discount. So it was close to thousand bucks a pop. Is it expensive? Yes, that's one of the cons that we did not like the price, but for what you get and the quality and the utility of it, to me, it's worth it. Now let's talk about the quality of these chases. Um, so these are very lightweight, the way it comes, you can easily move around with just two people. So the reason why it doesn't move when it's sitting in your ledge is because you add water. There's a knob in the chase where you can open it and then fill this entire shell with the hose and it becomes heavier because of the water. So it doesn't move uh, where it's like a floaty but it stays sturdy enough inside your tanning ledge so our tanning ledge is about nine inches deep I think this particular model uh, can fit in between nine to or six to twelve inches or something like that so you're not entirely sinking up in the water but at the same time you're not staying dry completely it's a good balance and we love it and it's very easy to clean uh, ours is just two months old so we don't have a lot of dirt but as you can imagine white chase is gonna get dirty and the product that works best at least based on my online research is magic eraser or something like that and the next thing I want to talk about is the design the biggest selling point for us was the design because of a couple of reasons one uh, there's no other product that's as beautiful and sexy as these chases compared to its competition. And second, Ledge Lounger has another version called Signature Chase, which is also beautiful, but it lays flat. So when you lay on it, all you have to do is look up in the sky and the sun's going to beat on your face. Versus this one, it sits upright so if you're laying by the pool want to read a book or just look outside or maybe your kids in the pool and you want to have a sight of them then this particular version is going to be helpful because it sits upright if you see
versus laying all the way flat like the signature collection of chase from ledge lounger but the last thing i want to talk about it's it's competition there's two other brands that are kind of major uh, when it comes to its competitor one is uh, the brand called kai i think it's called sunshelf or something like that and they are a little bit less pricey but so bulky so from a design standpoint this is what we like because it's sleek compared to the other uh, and that has a cup holder versus this one don't but uh, here in this household we value design first so that's why we went with this one and the second competitor is called Tengem and it's to me has like side support and it's a little clunky and I feel like it's a grandma grandpa chase and we can't bring that in this household in this backyard so we decided to pass on that those are the competitors this wraps up today's video guys I appreciate you watching if you have any questions about this particular chase or anything else in the backyard feel free to shoot a comment below and I will get to it with that said I'm out and I will see y'all in the next one